Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm back with another video on the responsive web design series. This is the fifth video and it is about media queries. And most probably it will be the last video of the series because I'm gonna make practical tutorials from now on. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and smash that like button. And if you want some special discounts on Amazon products, just check out the links given below in the description at each of my video okay so now let's get started i'll go through briefly about what is media queries again when we talk about cascading style sheets we associate it with styling an html page in a browser but css is capable of handling more than just that since CSS2 was introduced, we could specify style sheets for specific media types such as screen or print. Now, with media queries in CSS3, we are able to target specific screen sizes. We can have different blocks of CSS code for different screen and different sizes of device. In today's world, users view web pages on a wide range of screens. The screens can change from the large displays on their workstations to their laptops, on their airplane, to their iPad or the tablets they are using while sitting in the park and finally on the small mobile phones screens on the go. Media queries allow us to create CSS rules based on various parameters like viewport size, device type, etc. We can also arrange out layout to suit a wide variety of different devices or screen sizes. So, first you are gonna need the syntax. So, these are the following syntax that you can use. We will be using at media rule. So first you type at media media type and then expressions. For example, at media and then TV and minimum width is twelve hundred pixels or at media screen and maximum width at eight hundred pixels. Okay, usually we could define this at the end of the line or at the end of the file in order to leverage the cascading property of CSS. The background color, the borders and other common attributes would typically be defined above and won't be changed here. The following properties are the ones that we would replace most often width, height, float and margins. For example, let's say the logo of the company is 600 pixel wide on the desktop or the desktop version of the website. Now on a device with a width of 480 pixels, the scroller will appear and that is not desirable. That's why we will use media queries in CSS3. That's the main target of responsive web design. Okay. Media queries is a powerful tool in a world where websites are viewed on a huge range of devices. With very little change, you can make an existing website, mo website mobile and tablet complaint. Today, when building a new website, many developers build it for the desktop screen and then use media queries to retrofit it for the mobile and the tablet. While this will work, it's not the optimal way to do it. Media queries are meant for design presentation, not optimization. Okay, to optimize for the mobile, you have to optimize pictures and the markup. 
that's all about media queries and it's also that's all for today guys make sure to press the like button and subscribe to my channel have a nice day